What's going on guys? Back again with another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about a video that I actually just shot. Um, Naylene. This video, it was so dope. It's called um, Tan Toxico. I've never like done a Spanish video. I've never done a song that was in Spanish. I've never done like something. It just felt like like an international vibe to me. Like the the drums and everything was like it was it was a vibe. It was really important for me to bring out the character I heard in the song. There was a lot of um, there was a lot of passion behind the song. I think um, it was about a toxic relationship. And I think originally I had asked the artist if she knew any male models that would be interested in being in the video. And she was just like, I wanted to be a mystery guy. And I think for me, I ended up taking that approach a little differently. Instead of just specifically using a mystery guy, I just made it symbolism. I just use symbolism. Music videos are uh, subjective, right? So you can be extremely creative with them. You don't have to be as direct and formal as other um, visual outlets. So I think for this one, I was just like, let's, let's just use symbolism. So I wanted to get underwater shots of her swimming underwater because I wanted it to feel like she was drowning in her relationship as the symbolism. Right. Um, so that was my thought process with the beginning. Right. So the video actually starts again with her walking into the shot. Right. I know you guys remember from my previous video, I was talking about YJ and much better walking into the shot, walking into the scene. I wanted I wanted Naylene to walk into the scene um, and I wanted us to see her feet in the water, hitting, hitting her feet as she's like walking on the sand. Um, also, shout out to uh, Pexels. If you need um, some free stock footage, I definitely suggest go to Pexels, man. Um, Pexels actually has some dope um, stock video that I have used in some of my videos. So go check that out. But um, after I have the, the Pexels video of like the sand and the water and everything, I actually have her walking into the shot I end up showing little parts of her kind of like flirting with the camera. Like you, you can see her, but you can't see her all the way yet. You see her like kind of walking past, you know, like uh, we're actually under a pier structure. And another thing, when you're shooting at the beach, look for things that can create depth. Of course, the ocean is huge and vast. It's gonna, it's gonna have depth, but besides the sand and the ocean, what else do you have? You know, and I know for this particular vibe, we didn't want a lot of people into the shots. I didn't want like the boardwalk type of vibe. Um, I used the boardwalk for like shots later on, um, but for the beginning of the video, I really wanted it to be like about her um, and, and her like kind of getting out um, her voice a little bit, you know? So you can kind of connect with her as the character of the video, you know? Um, so I had Naylene walk um, literally under a pier. So I knew for a fact I wanted the pier shots. Again, this is why you need music video treatments because you get to map out exactly, you know, what you want to do. Listen to the song, get everything together. That's what you want to do, right? So for, for the treatment, I had her walking under a pier. I wanted it to be at sunset. We would have had to wake up at like three o'clock in the morning to really get this sunset or do it at the end of the day. Mind you, this was like 4th of July weekend, so I already knew that it was gonna be packed, so we ended up not doing that, right? So I had her walk under the pier. The pier created so much depth. The All the bars and beams of holding this bridge up in construction, and, and, and because it was brown, the sand is brown, the water is kind of dark underneath the pier, her pink dress popped even more. You know, she popped out from the background, which created that depth. So when we're when we're seeing her in the frame, and you can see literally the water splashing and the waves splashing in the background, the the pier, the beams, you can see all that in the background. It literally looks like she's just popping out. You know, um, she's standing out, which that's exactly what I wanted, especially for the start of the video. I kind of want to give the artists um, their time to shine, you know? Um, heading into, I think, a little bit later into the video, we have uh, just other things. I'm just like playing with different camera angles, man. I'm just bouncing from wide angles to mid angles to close up angles, um, and then jumping in and out between the two, um, or between the three. 
and then also jumping into different things like the surfer surfing by which was actually dope um i don't know if you guys have ever been to ocean city maryland but there really are never surfers there <laughs> so it was cool we got lucky with that one man uh shout out to that guy that was surfing they actually closed off a section of the beach for this guy like what <laughs> literally like they kicked everyone else down like a football field length far just so they can have this guy do his thing surfing